In this episode, we do the final jobs before we set sail for our four-day trip towards Curaçao. But first, this is me, Kim. There is Bart, and here is Liz, our little explorer. We sold everything to explore these beautiful places with our tiny 33-foot sailboat, Tranquility. In the last episode, we visited Kanoan and had the best barbecue. And we arrived in Pukwai. A little bit of downside of uh, this uh, life is uh, we have to say goodbye sometimes. So we are preparing for our crossing to Curacao. Bart is scraping the hole right now. And Liz and I are cleaning the cockpit. Okay, Liz is maybe combining it with playing, but we get it clean already. In the warm Caribbean waters, the hull gets covered in marine life fast. We cleaned the Finsulate two weeks ago, and this is how it looks like now. We notice we have more growth than boats next to us. On the fin slate it still comes off, but I can feel it is more difficult than before. On our seal drive we have PropSpeed, a silicon based paint, which still is clean. We are quite curious what it will look like when tranquility is hauled out. What a luxury that they pick up the laundry and bring it back folded. We have done a lot today and Liz was a great help. So time for a final afternoon at the beach before we leave tomorrow. Little did we know that we would be caught by a rain cloud, but that did not stop us to enjoy the beach. enjoyed a pizza on our final night. The morning of departure it is the time to fold our dinghy. We always wait until the latest moment to stow our dinghy because it is our car to the shore. In Curaçao we are going to stay in a marina for two days before we are hauled out so we won't need her for a longer period. That is the reason for us to fold the dinghy instead of laying it on the bow of the boat and it's easier to use the paddle sailor on the way. Our folded dinghy goes into a bag and we place it in front of the mast. The front of the boat is free and we save space inside. We put the vane back up. We always take the vane of the wind vane down when we do not use it for a longer period. Everything is set. Time to leave and hoist the anchor. It will take a while when we will be back at anchor. Weather conditions are perfect for our parasailer, so we hoist it directly after the anchor is up and we maneuver it between the other boats.
So we are 5.6 nautical miles out of Bequay, which is over there. And um, we hoist a parasailer. We are doing five and a half knots average. Uh, but we've got one knot of current, so four and a half knots on the speed. The wind speed is uh, 12 to 40 knots uh, from behind. So we are sailing with the wind. And this is gonna be the situation for the next four days probably. Uh, the wind might drop a bit to 10 to 9 knots in uh, like two days. So I hope uh, not too much. We are both discussing on uh, what we'll do uh, if we let the parasailer up in the night. It's not something we did before because we're always a bit scared of uh, yeah, what would happen if the wind increases or anything. Um, but the parasailer should be able to handle uh, gusts up till over 25 and especially if you're uh, sailing downwind. So with the prediction we have now uh, gusts won't come above 20 during our trip. Uh, we're gonna see what uh, what we'll do. I think the first night we will uh, try and leave it on and um, just have a look right before the darkness fell fall in if there are any squalls or anything. Um, for now, it looks it looks amazing. Um, blue skies, some small clouds for the scenery, and uh, and a flat and calm ocean. So this, this sail just makes up for all the worst sail days and sail nights we had in the past. I mean, we didn't have much and uh, there are people who have it worse and still doing this. But I think that nobody can complain on these sail conditions. This is, we've got 11, 12 knots of wind. It's, uh, it's not going fast, but the ocean is calm. We have waves of approximately one meter and a perfect sunset. we have right now is that there is a fishing vessel over here and it was uh, cruising with 0 0.8 knots of speed and we want to pass it but now it's speeding up again so to two knots so it will take us longer to get past the vessel but it's coming close to us all the time so that makes it 
a little bit frustrated, but uh, hopefully we will uh, get past it soon. Because we don't want to sail close to uh, sailing off uh, to another ship, actually, uh, just uh, to be safe and not if one have to steer or with a gust, you come even closer. So that's why we want to keep a, di a safe distance. And two nautical miles isn't even that far away, but acceptable. So the yellow line will come back to the purple line in a couple of hours. We kept the parasailer up during the night and it was a success. And maybe a little bit of luck because we did not encounter any schools and the wind did not increase above 20 knots. We have enough entertainment on board, like practicing throwing skills. The day after the first night is always the heaviest, trying to find the rhythm and having less energy. So we dance for some energy and have a nice afternoon snack. All looks well, but we did not have the luck on our side this day. So my second night and I always forget how hard the second day is. It's and today Murphy's Law kicked in so we had some bad luck on our side. Nothing serious but just uh, Bart playing with Liz and bumping his shoulder and um, then when we want to take down the parasailer the boom almost knocks Bart's head off. And Liz had a little peeing accident in the bed, so we need to clean that up and just a lot. But hey, here we are, second night, mood is good. I have a starry night and um, Bart's taking his well-deserved rest and hopefully his body will uh, not be that sore to this night, but uh, we will see. The rest of the days we set the parasailer in the morning and before the sun sets we dropped it and hoisted the sails. That was a good setup, even though it was a lot of work. But in the nights the wind picked up more and we chose sleep over speed. We had a really good sail towards Curacao, with a lot of fun. It was also the first time since we left that Liz was really into helping us with everything. It was so nice to do those things together. We arrived at Curacao on King's Day a Dutch holiday for the birthday of the king. And going through the floating bridge was very special. What a good way to end our sail. 
we won't be sailing for a few months because we hold out to start some boat projects again. A little bit nostalgic, we opened the final present from the box we got when we left last year. The best, a Dutch treat, stroke bath. Chaos today, we're gonna get the boat out of the water uh, and put it on the hard here in Curaçao Marine. Uh, and we're gonna leave it there for two months. Uh, we'll be gone for one month to the Netherlands and then the other month we'll be in an apartment here in Curaçao. Um, so it means uh, we have to pack everything and um, we can be hauled out in approximately one to two hours. We still have to do a lot of work. The Genoa has to come off, um, we want to pack our bags and stow them away. Uh, we're not going to sleep on the boat on the hard, still we don't think it's very comfortable with a uh, toddler to uh, have her uh, move up and off the boat when it's uh, standing high up like this. So we have a hotel for the next two days or two nights and um, <clears throat> we are working our ass off. Wat hebben we nu niet nodig, Lieke? Nee, maar de oefening niet schoongemaakt worden. The boat is a mess again. We have packed our bags for our trip to the Netherlands, and we also need to sort a lot of stuff out for the heart. We won't be there for more than a month, so food that is not long-lasting need to go off, and so on. Ja, die is deeg, leeg. Er zit geen drinken in. Oh, je flying yet or Nou. Wat gaan we dan doen? Staying in a hotel. Just two relaxing nights before heading back to the Netherlands. In the next episode, tranquility is hauled out and we face a nightmare. We calm down in a hotel, fly back to the Netherlands and we will be landbound for a while. Well, this was it. If you have any questions, please let us know. And for now, goodbye and thank you very much for watching. Fair winds to you all.